try to get an idea about what all we've got going on this year. Earlier this month, first teams all over North Carolina learned what their challenge would be for this competition season. In essence, what the robot they will be building will be called upon to do. Teams didn't wait until then, however, to start work. For instance, this group, the Flying Platypi, made up of students from several counties in the triad, gathered to make a timeline and determine when specific steps should be undertaken. The robot's just kind of something to tie things together, I guess. But the whole concept is that you know, you do all kinds of stuff. It's more like a small business. That might be the most common misperception about FIRST, that it's just about students getting together to build a robot. The robot is not really the most important thing that we do. It's mostly a vehicle that's used to uh, convey to other people what FIRST is about, and then as soon as they see the robot and get excited about it, we tell them more about the FIRST program. Most people do come in thinking it's just about the robot, but that quickly changes. We want the kids to be well-rounded in not only just about robotics and mechanics, but you have electrical, you have marketing. There's some sort of task for everyone, even those who might have no interest at all in robotics. Rookies can definitely find a suitable spot. I was hoping I would be able to figure out what I was good at, you know, as I went along, and um, we'll see. The Flying Platypi have participated in FIRST for five years. The technical assassins of rural Birdie County are entering only their second season. As part of the act, the team put on a fashion show to raise capital. There's so much more than just doing a robot. We have just different teams, we have fundraising, we have programming, we have so many other things that just go into this team. By their own admission, the Birdie squad barely got their robot to move a year ago, but they learned a great deal. Last year we were rookies as what we were considered. And this year I feel like we're just gonna do so much better and we're, we just got a strong team. I think for us being rookies, I think we did very well. We didn't win, but we still did very well. That's one thing about first. Winning a competition might be a state admission, but it's not necessarily the primary one. I thought it was a great program because of the fact that it really emphasized teamwork, and collaboration, and community. I think it's gonna help me better be able to understand how to deal with other people and communicate with other people better. Jack Nicholson was part of the Technical Assassins last year, but he has moved on and is a freshman oh, yeah. at East Carolina University. They teach you how to work well with others and like open your mind and think out of the box and try new stuff. First is an acronym for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. From the very start, collaboration is emphasized. Rookies on the Flying Platypi, for instance, came in and immediately worked to produce an animation focused on an element of safety. My first robotics team created a new piece of equipment called the Safety Scan. I think it was good for the uh, amount of time that we had, and since we hadn't ever done anything with 3D modeling, and, uh, I think we did good. They lose the focus on me, me, me. And it's more now, what can we do as a group or as a team? And you can see something small that you do impact a lot of people, and that's really exciting to me. One feature of the first competition is that it shows students how the things that they are studying in school can be put to practical use. We have a variety of public school, private school, and home school on our team. And they take what they've learned and now they put it in real life practice. They actually see why is math important? Why are the different sciences and for the programmers? Why is it important to learn these different languages and things like that? It also serves to inspire or create an interest in STEM subjects. I've always liked math and science, but this really just heightened my enthusiasm for both of them. I was definitely um, one of the girly girls, you know, but now that I've joined FIRST, it's, um, science has become a lot more interesting to me, and I, I love it. In Verde County, the appreciation for the FIRST program extends beyond the students involved and even beyond the sponsor school. This really ignites the community itself because people are hearing, wow, this is going on in the school, this is great, kids are excited, they want to get in here. There is a growing understanding of what participation in FIRST can do for individuals. Benefits can be seen when pursuing higher education. I think being part of the robotics team can get me scholarships and cause me to have more career opportunities. One of the things I've been hearing about a lot is definitely scholarships lots and lots and I was definitely 
thinking about that when I uh, came here. A lot of colleges love seeing first an application whether or not you're applying to the science or technology field. But it can also extend well beyond the college years too. They can take what they're learning here, help them get into college, but then secure a job. The kids coming off these tanks, they've got experiences that kids coming out of colleges in a lot of cases don't have. Or in most cases don't have, so you know, they're a real big step ahead. We will be following the flying platypi and the technical assassins even more in the coming weeks as they build their robots and put them to the test.